Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of, uh, well, walking around Mexico and uh, actually walking around Merida, Mexico. And in fact, uh, today's episode, we're really going to be focusing on Merida and uh, we're just going to be talking about things to do out here in Merida. And, um, you know, this is more geared towards uh, the tourist or the, the, the traveler that's coming through here more than anything else. But this could go for anybody. This could go for, um, you know, locals, you know, this could go for people out there that are living out here or spending a lot of time out here. Or again, you know, basically, you know, the tourist or the traveler that's coming through here. Um, and um, we're going to be talking about, you know, just literally things to do out here in Merida, Mexico. Because there's a million things to do out here in Merida. And it doesn't really matter what your budget is. Um, this place is also very, very budget friendly. So obviously, you know, the if you have a great, awesome budget, you know, well, you could do all kinds of fucking uh, of all kinds of things for, um, you know, and it doesn't really matter to you. But if um, for most people out there, you guys are we're all on like some sort of limited budget. So, you know, knowing uh, what you can do in, uh, in a certain city like like this city in which it's very, uh, you know, um, budget friendly um, is, is um, you know, very good information so I was like you know what let me make a video on this because again guys you know the, one of the awesome things about living out here in Merida is the fact that there's a lot a lot to do um, for very cheap or free you know free which is you know free is always a free o'clock free o'clock is always like the best option period end the story but um so you know out here in this city this city happens to be the cheapest it's probably the cheapest, if, if not the cheapest, it's like in the top five of the cheapest cities in all of Mexico. So that's number one. Number two, this city is growing like a lot. It's growing exponentially. So with all that growth, you know, there's all kinds of new stuff, you know, to, to be seen and had. So, you know, um, you know, tons of amazing food and tons of amazing restaurants out here. It's, it's like a like a normal thing. So, you know, as each day passes, you know, there's uh, new, newer restaurants, you know, opening up all over the place. Um, whether you're in the center of the city or, you know, more in the northern uh, part of the city in which, you know, um, there's uh, all kinds of, um, you know, more modern things. It doesn't matter where you are. You know, there's all kinds of new restaurants opening up uh, of all levels, you know, whether it's a five star Michelin star type restaurant or the little rinky dinky uh, mom and pop store to you name it and everything in between um you know all kinds of artisanal restaurants and uh, and food you know um all kinds of uh, young young bucks out there you know young chefs you know uh, creating uh, their new creations and uh, just so many things so you know as a food city as a food city this is a i never thought it i mean i i, I honestly it's kind of like a mixed bag when it comes to like the whole food city thing but you know after just living here for about a year and a half and just going through all the you know a lot of the places out here and just a lot of experience out here this is a little bit of a foodie city and uh each day that progresses it's even more of a foodie city so you know the the food out here in the yucatan is um yeah i don't know like of all the mexican food in mexico it's not necessarily the greatest you know i'll, I'll be fucking, i'm not gonna lie to you you know what i mean i'll probably be one of the first ones to tell you Am I on the right street? Yeah, I'm on the right street. I'll be one of the first ones to tell you that, you know, the Yucatan cuisine and uh, a lot of the food out here isn't necessarily the greatest. And I mean, it's good. It's good. But I mean, it just lacks a little in flavor when you compare it to the rest of Mexico. And that's just a fact. You know what I mean? I'm not going to fucking beat around the bush. The food out here is amazing. Don't get me wrong. You know, like having a panuchos or sopa de lima or, you know what I mean? And there's so many fucking awesome things out here. You know, like maquesitas. You know, there's a lot of things that are really, really good. But... You know, I'm a chef. I've traveled a lot. I've I've cooked all kinds of cuisines. I've done all kinds of things like that. So, you know, to me, it's like I have a little bit of a different palate and a little bit of a different, um, I don't know. I, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little different. Like when it comes to like, I want to say biased or, I don't know. I, like um, I look at this uh, section a little different when it comes to the food. But with that being said, there's a lot of restaurants opening up of all calibers, you know, of all kinds of cuisines. And um, as we discussed in other videos, um, you know, this, this is turning into a melting pot. So, you know, all of a sudden, you know, um, I, when I first got here, I used to complain about the fact that I couldn't get a good burger. 
Well, guess what? I found a bunch of places with good burgers. Um, I can't find really good pizza. Well, guess what? I found a few places that are owned by actual Italians serving real Italian food out here. And, um, and, and the list goes on, you know what I mean? Like um, Pho, you know, there's a Vietnamese place that I love to go to with my girlfriend all the time. It's called Pho MX. So Pho Mexico, Pho, Pho. I know I'm saying it wrong, Pho. But anyways, um, and that place is amazing. Um, in fact, I used to not be a huge fan of Pho, but ever since um, I've been out here and I keep going to that one place, it's the best pho I've ever had in my life. So that's Vietnamese food. And um, you know, there's all kinds of food in between. And um, you know, now on top of that, there's a lot of people that, that come out here that are from, uh, from other, parts of, uh, of other parts of Mexico. So I'm also starting to find, you know, like really, you know, like authentic, uh, am I gonna be able to cross or what? All right, let's do this. You know, I've, I've been able to find a lot of other authentic food out here and cuisines out here. Um, you know, from all car all parts of Mexico because there's um, a lot of migration to this city from all, all over Mexico. So, you know, you'll find them. You know, you'll find the authentic cuisine uh, from Mexico, um, from the northern part, from Oaxaca, from wherever the hell. You'll, you can find it out here. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the same as actually going to these other places in Mexico. But, hey, it's pretty, pretty good. So, the cuisine out here definitely a big thumbs up I, I mean I'll definitely you know I definitely give it a big thumbs up um, you know what let's cut through here real quick um, so right now by the way we're we're about to hit look I don't know if you guys see this look little cactuses we got all kinds of stuff in Mexico because Mexico Independence Day is right around the corner Mexico Independence Day is September 15th not Cinco de Mayo all right so don't forget that so look there's like a big Mexico thing there um, what else we got over there? We got a big eagle. We got a big whatever. So they're starting to set up here for Mexican Independence Day, which is in a, about two weeks away, maybe a week and a half away, give or take. So and that's like a little park here. Now Paseo Montejo is that way, but we're not gonna go down Paseo Montejo. Hola, buenos días. Um, you know, we, we always go down Paseo Montejo, but as you guys can see, this is Paseo Montejo. This is Parque Santa Ana. We're gonna go that way, all right? So that's an okay. So now let's get to all the other things that you can do out here besides the food. You know, besides having amazing food out here, um, like again, the cuisine is great. It's just international cuisine on all levels, and um, it's a lot of really good food. Sorry, there's a little noise coming out my way. But um, another thing that's are free to do, um, you get to walk around. Now, literally walking around. Now, look, this is a tour. Tour that is not free. That is not free. All right, not free at all, but I'm sure it's cheap. Okay, maybe not, but whatever. It's probably cheap. Even if it's a hundred pesos, that's five dollars. So that's not bad. There's a lot of fucking uh, music coming over there from that end. Come on, traffic, let's do this. So another man, it's so loud. One second, guys. All right, we already walked past the music a little bit. Now I don't know if you guys can see it up there, but there's like a horn all the way up there, and it's literally pointing out to the street. And there's just music blaring to the street. Again, you know, there's certain things like that I just don't get. I, and again, I understand music being played out of a business or out of a business. But I, I mean, again, that's like music playing from the business outward, you know, towards the street. Again, I, I don't, I mean, besides ruining my fucking videos, I don't, I don't understand the real purpose of uh, those things. Anyways, sorry, a little, I had to rant for a second there. But as you guys, um, as you guys can see, there's a lot of uh, stuff to do in Merida so now let's keep talking about it instead of just looking at it so right over here right across the street you guys have already seen me tour this place a bunch this is Parque Santa Ana so there's a, lots of parks all around the city just like this one all the way over there as soon as uh, someone lets me cross the street thanks jeez um, so there's a lot of places like like this you know a lot of parks you know all around the city like Parque Santa Ana you know, like this one is just uh, one of the ones that happens to be the closest to where I live. But, you know, and then here, look at this dog. That's like a like an actual Mexican dog with no hair. Check that out. So, um, so yeah, you come out here to eat and it's really good stuff. This is the authentic food. So if you want like authentic Yucatecan cuisine, this is where you would come to eat, okay? But again, as you guys can see, you know, there's tons of parks like this all over the place. You know, let's keep going that way so I can show you a little more of the things to do out here. So, you know, one of the obvious things that you can do out here is visit the parks. 
and uh, and I'm not just talking about just like the little parks that are all, all over the city but um, you know you get to visit the center of the city and it's like uh, it's called El Zocalo with a Z El Zocalo and in the center of that city I mean the center of every city but especially in this city that's where all the events happen that's where every single Sunday they close off the whole center so they can have a ginormous um, you know festival slash uh, garage sale slash you know all kinds of shit you know what I mean so um, I, 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 I definitely got to go out there one of these Sundays with my girlfriend so I can show you guys a little bit more but you know when it comes to to, to the park situation you know there's tons of parks everywhere they're a good majority of them are 100% safe again you know you know you're not gonna be going to like the worst part of town at 3 in the morning and sitting in a park in the dead of night and expect nothing to happen i mean come on just use some common sense but for the most part you know what i mean that's why everything's safe now look this is a brand new thing that they're building here i remember this thing was a fucking mess a while ago but they're building a lot of these things and um and we're gonna see even more of the things that they're building out here this is calle 60 um and you know out here they're building a lot of things you know like uh, like art galleries and things that have to do with art and um and that's another thing that you know you can come out here for free you know um art you know you, there's tons of art okay tons of culture okay so what do i mean by that first of all you know like let's see if we can go in here real quick let's see if we can go in here but just so you can get an idea of what i mean so like this is just like a random place you can just come in for free and um, they have art so let's see let's see how this works so quiet well, actually, I haven't been here in a while. Oh, muchas gracias. So you see, this is, we're inside an art gallery now. You look at that. And like, see, I wasn't sure about entering and I had my camera in hand. And they, the, the guy just literally said, please come in, please check it out. So as you guys can see, there's tons of art of all levels out here. This is air conditioned here to make sure that the art in these rooms stay um not sweaty and nasty like me <laughs> but see look check it out cool so let's just check out more of the free art so i've been here with my girlfriend because again i don't live i live like just a little further north so i know this area and um this is a brand new exhibition that they have here look at this okay just art. Pretty cool, huh? Well, look, there's, the door is already open. So this thing right here, you know, all of these rooms are full of art. I'm not going to go on to all these rooms, okay? Because I've already, you know, been down here. There's just so much art here. And I'm actually have a lot of things to do, you know, I don't have time to go. But again, just so I can, just so you can get an idea, you can just walk into any random one of these places. Muchas gracias. Oh, sure, sure. Sí, 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 como no. Eh, ¿a dónde, a dónde? Aquí. Nombre y qué más? Fecha, fecha de nombre. Ok, ok. Ciudad. Muy amable. Y hoy, hoy es el... El 3, 4, 5. 5. Gracias. Mucho calor. Sí, sí, sí. Es que vengo caminando desde el centro. Sí. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Yeah, so like the one price of admission in like pretty much every one of these galleries is that you got to sign in. That's very, very important to them. So we just signed in real quick. You know, hopefully I was able to record some of that. But, uh, you know, now here on Calle 60, you know, we're going to be walking down and I'm going to show you guys um, so many art galleries and shit. You know, let me see. I think this is an art gallery here. So look, see, more art gallery stuff. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, see, the art gallery is a little different than uh, the art exhibitions, okay? Hola, hola. Sí, nada más que viendo un poquito. Gracias. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to avoid uh, interactions with humans. Hola, hola. Hey, hey. hey anyways. Uh, 
I'm just so, sorry. I'm really just trying to avoid some human interactions with the art gallery guys, you know, because uh, I'm just trying to just again get get to the point where everyone is super friendly out here, and there's a lot of art and culture just happening all over. So again, we just um, we came from an art exhibition. Next to it were two art galleries, and now down this street, which is Calle 60, this is Parque Santa Ana. You know, just so you guys can get all right, just so you can get some more, um, so you can get an idea of where I'm at. Okay, all right, but um. Right now, art galleries. Hold on. I'm gonna get on the other side of the street. So this is like a little store that sells all kinds of artisanal stuff. We just came from over there. Those are the two art galleries and a restaurant. See, art gallery, art gallery, pasta kitchen, art gallery. All right. We're gonna walk. We're just gonna come. We're walking back and forth on the on the street so you guys get an idea. But again, back to like the whole idea of these buildings. You know, who knows what that could be? That could be a shoe store in the future. That could be another art gallery. That could be anything. A restaurant, a home, anything. It, it looks like it's a home right now. But see, look, there's an art gallery there. And um, there's more art galleries on each side here. So art. Art is a major thing out here. And so right now, remember, we're, we're in, a, in the north. In Alrighty, sorry about that. The, the heat cut off the camera. But um, again, here's another art gallery. And this street, there's a bunch of art galleries, you know, up and down. And there's art galleries all over the place. Now, not only are there art galleries, but there's also art museums. And so, you know, some of these art museums or exhibitions, like the one that I just showed you a little while ago, um, was free. And, um, and again, very welcoming of uh, random strangers. And, um, and in other places, like in El Centro, and um, same thing as... Um, on Paseo Montejo, there are also um, museums, like real, you know, bona fide museums that, you know, just cost you a couple bucks, you know, and any, it's like under five dollars, really like two, three dollars, you know, something like that. And all of a sudden, you know, you're in a real bona fide Mayan museum, like the, 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 the most extensive Mayan museum in the whole world is in the, the northern part of the city. Um, you know, again, there's um, a few um, other, other uh, cultural museums out here more in the central so you know there's a lot of uh again art and culture out here on every level and um it, it's not just um it's not just the art you know from the from the galleries and the paintings and shit like that you know there's music you know tons of look more art galleries you know but there's tons of music you know live music live concerts sometimes they're free a good majority of the times they're very free a good majority of the time, they're very free. Look at that, more galleries, another gallery, you see? It's a radio station over there, local radio station. So, again, guys, you know, more galleries, you know, in front of me. So, again, guys, you know, there's also... I, I've sh And again, if you follow me, if you follow me already for a while, and especially if you see some of my Instagram stories, you guys see that all the time. I'm out, I'm out with my girlfriend, and especially on weekends, you know, if we're in El Centro, you know, a lot of times we'll just pop in for a free uh, concert. And it's like, um, you get free air conditioning and a free concert. And um, it's not just like random uh, concerts. I mean, it's actually really random, you know. So like, there's all kinds of like, um, like concerts, you know, meaning like uh, it could be some guy from Korea um, coming out here representing Korea and they have Korean music. It could be K-pop. It could be something classical. It could be um, demonstrations of uh, judo. It could be, um, you know, music from like any country you can imagine, any point, you know, around the world. Um, all kinds of things like that. And so that's that's like another really cool thing is that like it's, it's constantly randomly, you know, all kinds of really cool uh, stuff especially when it comes to like the whole music i mean when it comes to like art and music and stuff like that like um you know if you're just like walking around at centro if you're just like walking around uh certain areas that have a lot of these things going on again you could just randomly you know um you'll see randomly our lines you know of uh of uh, of people you know going into concert halls or art museums or whatever and you just ask a couple random people hey what is this line for they're like oh yeah there's a free anime convention over here I'm like oh cool or you know what i mean like oh we're waiting in line because there's like a free um what is it like a like a free uh, mambo um concert you know what i mean and they're playing free mambo with uh some mambo kings that came from cuba and blah 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 and, and it's just is so random like that so many things like that so that's that also you know there's a lot of other things that you know most people know of you know when you come out here so one of the things that they have out here um 30 minutes north of here 
So 30 minutes north of where I'm at right now is the beach. So the beach, you know, the Gulf of Mexico is right there. And, um, you know, if you just want to go straight to Progreso, which is the, the beach, you know, it's like literally just like a like a 30 minute, like a 30 minute drive north of here. And again, when it comes to um, your, you know, when it comes to your, um, what do you call your budget, it all depends. So if you want to take an Uber, if you want to take an Uber all the way out there, it's going to cost you 300 pesos, give or take. So that's $15 to go to the beach. If you want to take the bus, they have like these big, huge air conditioned buses that literally just go to the beach and back and nothing else. And those things are like 25 pesos. So it's like a dollar 50, dollar 25, dollar something might be a little more expensive but some it's under two dollars period end of story so you know to get to the beach it's again depending on your budget you can you can get there no matter what that's that's like one of the really cool things about that another thing you know another thing besides you know just going to the beach and stuff like that like if you have a little bit more of a budget you can go visit places like chichen itza shu Shmal, uh and uh, and many others you know there's a lot of uh you know old um mayan heritage you know sites you know a lot of these uh temples and and uh ruins that have been here for fucking centuries or whatever again this is all right let's do this this is the place out here out here out here um this is like the dead epicenter to a lot of these uh ruins and a lot of places are ruins so if like let's say you want to do uh one of those like mayan uh ruin uh excursion tourism things a lot of times you'll end up in Merida and then from Merida you leave so a lot of you guys out there that come out here to this part of Mexico this part of the world to go see those things you have, you kind of like end up out here by mistake because out here is um, again the closest city to all, all of those uh, sites so you know again there's that there's also cenotes cenotes are those underground watering holes that you know the ones that you see those crazy pictures of and you're like wow that is so beautiful that is so amazing i'm gonna see if i can put a few pictures of that here hold on one of you um you can put uh, you know let's see if i can put some video or picture of those things here but um yeah but those cenotes you know those things are like you know marvels of this uh world that we're living in right now and i had no idea that they had them here and then when i went to go visit one wow was i in shock and awe as to how beautiful how serene how awesome awesome it is hey guys yeah sorry about that again the heat turned the, the camera off as i was uh finishing up when i was saying about the cenotes but again those cenotes very 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 beautiful thing and if you do come out this way you definitely have to check that out so i mean again i think i covered it um if you love nature you love hiking you love anything that has to do with that this is a place to be as well even if you're in the city it's very um nature friendly again you know just in my backyard uh, i know i dropped it sorry i just dropped one of these but you know my own backyard i got like a lime tree i got more citrus over here i got all kinds i got some fruit that i don't even know what it is and i made some jam out of it already but you know, let me put these in my pockets and get back to the crib but you know at the end of the day um you know this is a, a place where there's a bunch of things to do so no matter how you find yourself here whether you're coming here for a weekend whether you're passing through um on your way to cuba on your way to other places um it doesn't matter um you know there's a lot of things you should do and you should uh you should really check it out out here you know even if you just go to a restaurant or you just go um to the center of the city for a few hours or whatever it is you do i'm telling you you guys will not be disappointed this is a place um that is um again you are one with nature and um you know you're really like even though you're in a city you really do feel like you're almost like in the middle of nowhere and it's it's really beautiful and amazing like that because again you know you get to really relax and unplug out here but yet at the same time be as plugged in as you want to be and um that's like a, a beautiful thing about li living out here and being out here and again if you come out here to travel you just happen to find yourself out here um you know what let me stay out here for a little more lighting um you'll quickly find out that this is a place that you know you'll be wondering damn where the hell you've been all my life and you're gonna want to be out here and come out here a lot more often and like happens to a lot of people um you ever heard of that term go bamboo yeah that kind of happens out here too i don't know what the term for it out here would be but you know a lot of people end up coming out here and staying out here 
and um, once you're here once you actually come visit here and see what it's like out here you get to see why people do that I mean there's a real reason why people do that in fact I'm one of those and I know a lot of you guys at some point are have been whatever so all right guys with that being said I just want to give a big shout out to all my patrons out there I want to give a big shout out to every single one of my contributors um, everyone that helps me uh, with Lambo food or helps me you know with um, a few digibyte here and there a few Bitcoin here and there or whatever the hell you're sending me you know even if you're sending me thumbs ups likes comments it doesn't matter it's all greatly appreciated I fucking love you guys this is why I do this for you and if you want to see more videos like this well you already know what to do S subscribe like and um, and I'll be making more of these I make all kinds of videos and um, if you want to see more of this uh, more of videos just like this just check out the playlist you know li literally called living in Merida Mexico and uh, you'll get to see a million more videos on this all right so guys thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon and uh, more importantly than anything else stay awesome have an amazing rest of your day and um, I hope to see you guys out here soon I really do hope that you guys uh, make it out here at one point and come to visit and um, there's tons more videos that I'm gonna be making on other things to do out here um, but this is just a basic course of uh, just uh, just the basic things that you can do out here that I just you know thought off the top of my head but again you know i got tons of videos showing you all the other cool things that are out here and there's just so many more videos of content that i have to yet make for you guys uh to show you even more about how awesome this place is so again thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you guys manana peace and uh safe travels out there bye hey guys guess what me and lambo are still here we haven't left yet you know why we're here because i want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.